It was about, uh, gosh, I guess about five years ago. I was just tired. Uh, I wanted to retire. I had made a lot of money uh, in my lifetime, but like so many people, I have it, did not invest it wisely. I certainly didn't save it. Um, and so I, I really couldn't afford uh, to retire. I could um, maybe part-time consulting or whatever, but I had to supplement uh, uh, my retirement. And uh, so I, I stayed in the car business uh, for a couple of years after that. And lo and behold, Shane was in another business uh, that he was doing very well in. Uh, and he just decided he wanted to get into the car business. And so uh, I helped him get started uh, with one of my dealerships. And he did uh, very, very well with it, uh, making some good extra money, uh, not realizing uh, uh, you know, he, he just did it because he had a little capital to invest and uh, he was running another business that was pretty successful, uh, but it, its overhead was getting, uh, to stay in that business, it was really costing him a lot of money and a lot of pressure, a lot of labor intensive and so things of that nature. Um, uh, I did not know, I, I knew the business and I wasn't particularly uh, interested obviously in the business because I had worked with him in that business as well. But at any rate, uh, Shane uh, got to doing very well with uh, flipping a few cars on the side through uh, um, one of my dealerships. And then he just decided that he wanted to uh, make a transition out of his other business uh, into full-time car business. I wasn't really excited uh, about uh, opening another dealership um, at all. And so, uh, but obviously being a parent, I wanted to help my son. And so um, I got behind him and, and really just kind of made it clear, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll consult you a little bit and help you get your dealership open. Uh, we put it in, in his name entirely. Um, I, I invested a little startup capital in it uh, and, and uh, not in cars as, as much as I did in the dealership itself. Uh, but after a while, I saw he was doing uh, very well and decided he could grow a little bit faster if he had a little more capital. And I decided to invest with him, made an arrangement with, okay, I'll... Uh, kind of if you want to know floor plan your cars, uh, I, I, I don't believe in floor plans uh, uh, and I'll get into that in another uh, thing later and as a matter of fact Shane could have done a lot better if he had floor planned his cars instead of taking on a, a partner uh, except the restrictions that a floor plan puts on you. But anyway, I invested in some of his cars. Um, I got a video showing up, uh, coming up a little bit, and, and the purpose of this video is to help retired people like myself and also for you maybe to carry some of your, uh, maybe some people that you know that are out there that are looking to, uh, they're really concerned about what they're going to do with their uh, retirement because it sometimes, in my particular case, uh, it wasn't enough that was going to support me uh, the rest of my life uh, and and it's mostly not for anybody out there so uh, I, I really owe Shane a great uh, debt of gratitude because uh, you'll see in this upcoming uh, video that, that I'm tying to this one that every bit of this is true. I invested with Shane uh, in over a hundred cars so far this year. We did last year as well, but I just use this year as an example uh, because we've invested in over a hundred cars together. Uh, it's just been so rewarding uh, for us both. Uh, Shane didn't have the pressure of having a floor plan hanging over him, having a bank, having to worry about having the money, and I didn't have a lot of money, but I had enough to put in some cars uh, and, and he just did a great job. And so 
if you're retired out there and you're looking for a place to put your money and you've got somebody that's got a just a proven track record uh, you know of selling and and working and and somebody you can trust that's going to carry the ball uh, in the business and 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 I want to point out that, that there's a lot of people out there uh, that always say that I'm in the car business and and uh, you know that that I'm a do funky car dealer. I mean, so there's just a lot of YouTube haters out there. I don't understand why. I don't really care why, but they don't know anything about me. I'm not in the car business. I am in the Shane Barber business. Um, that's what I do. I invest in my son. I love all of my children. I, I'm like any parent out there that has some of the most wonderful children uh, out there. But I'd love to invest when I can in my children. And so uh, Shane has just done a remarkable job uh, for me and for himself. I'm so proud of him that, that, that there, there's no way to put it. Uh, this, but this is something you can go to somebody, like I said, that, that may be uh, needing something to supplement their retirement with. They've got a little money, not necessarily a lot and they, they need a place that I come here, I have an office here and uh, I come here of course and uh, set up and I do videos and help out where I can uh, consult because I've got a lot of experience in this business. Uh, but I'm watching my investments daily. I know which cars that I have shared equity in that pay off for me handsomely. Shane makes sure that they pay off for uh, me and him handsomely. He, I think he does better by having an investor than he does using his own money. Even though he would make more with his own money, uh, I think he really loves to watch uh, his investors make money um, and, and just gain their trust. And, and I think he's got a bright, bright future ahead of him. Uh, and those of you, like I said, that, that know anybody, uh, show them this video. Every word here is true coming up. Uh, I encourage you. Uh, yeah, if you if you got an opportunity to invest in someone you know in a car dealership, uh, the the opportunities are just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, don't just turn it over. Uh, the smart thing to do is not just turn it over to them. Uh, support them morally. Support them in sales. Support them any way that you can. Keep a hands on. Let them run the dealership. That's what I do. Shane runs the dealership. I I consult on experiences that I've been involved with in many dealerships, but Shane runs it and I strictly invest in some of his vehicles when, uh, quite frankly, it's got to the point when he allows me to. Uh, uh, he can carry his own if he so desires, uh, but sometimes he allows me to uh, invest in a few cars and of course I've got the privilege to go invest myself but I just like uh, making all the touchdowns, so to speak, without having to carry the ball. Check this video out coming up after this. Please subscribe and like this channel. Um, share it if you think it is of a value. Have a great day. You know, in 2018, I invested in over 100 vehicles with Shane. I'm retired, I didn't want to work anymore, but I wanted what little bit of money I had working for me, so I put Shane to work with my money and it was the greatest thing of 2018. If you're looking for some place to put a little bit of investment capital on a safe investment, give Shane a call.